Ujambo ndugu? Eh si jambo. Leo unajisikiaje kwamba Arsenal wameshinda? Eh ra 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 tu. Ra tu. Hebu ambi mashabiki rao una rai lioje? Eh jambo la muhimu ilikuwa ni tushinde hii mechi. Eh. Eh maana yake kila mechi kwa vile mechi zilibakia tano kwa sasa hivi mechi nne zilibakia. Kila mechi ni finali. Ukiona tofauti yetu na timu ya Tottenham ni point mbili. Kwa hivyo tukiteleza kidogo wako mbele yetu. Na sasa sasa hivi sisi kama mashabiki wa Arsenal lengo letu ni kucheza Champions League. So leo ni raha tupo tumaliza hiyo tuko na finali nyingine inakuja bado tunangoja. Okay tukizungumzia Arsenal upande wa ulinzi defense kwenye defense. Defense ya Arsenal leo imekuwaje? Eh nafikiri mkufunza alifanya mabadiliko kidogo pale nyuma mm. akamleta Tomiasu ambaye alikuwa na jera mm. amereja mm. eh, kisha akampumzisha Ben White mm. eh, akaleta Rob Holding mm. na mabadiliko hayo yame yamelipa hayaja kuwa mabaya manake mm. Rob Holding amecheza mchezo mzuri amekuwa na mchezo mzuri mm. amefanya blocks mbili tatu pale hivyo ambazo pengine zingekuwa ni bao mm. na pia akafunga bao mm. ukiona mchango wake Tomiasu pia umekuwa ni mchango ambao pia ni mchango mzuri ndona ya kwamba aliwapa wale wale hawa attackers wa uh, West Ham mm. kazi ngumu mm. hawangeza dribble first team mm. hawangeza leta zile mpira za crosses hawakuleta mm. ikawa ni ngumu vile wangeza kufunga kwa hivyo naona ile kwa mabadiliko mazuri okay. asante na tukiangalia viungo vya katikati pale katikati kwenye midfield pale midfield ilikuwaje leo kwa ujumla tu timu ya Arsenal wamekuwa very compact mm. ukiwa na kucheza kwao kutoka nyuma kwenda mbele mm. in both moments attacking and defending mm. wamekuwa very compact ndio mm. pale katikati Shaka amefanya kazi yake Lenny amefanya kazi yake mm. then pale mbele yao kulikuwa na Odegaard mm. na Martinelli upande huu mwingine na Saka upande huu mwingine mm. nafikiri wamecheza vizuri mm. ukiona wakati tunazuia wakati tuko na mpira zile runs zao kufunguka na kujaribu kufungua ile hizo lines za kupitisha mpira pale mm. wamefanya vizuri mm. hata ukiona vile ile bao tulifunga bao la pili mm. alikimbia vizuri huyo kijana Martinelli mm. kaona vizuri akaileta sawa mm. tukamaliza mm. akili leo wamecheza vizuri imekuwa ni compact mm. nyuma kwenda mbele mm. in both moments attacking and defending wamekuwa vizuri kabisa ah uh, zete kwenye bench au kwenye mchezo na asili na cheza ameshinda unashukuliaje ile kwa kwenye given an opportunity mm. una proof yeah. so nafikiri kufikia sasa the last three matches kijana ngeti ana proof mm. ya kwamba anaweza ongoza yale ushambulizi wa timu ya Arsenal mm. na hata ukiona leo amekuwa na nafasi mingi za kufunga mm. especially wakati mwingine tulikuwa tulikuwa na mpira ulikuwa wakati tunaenda kuzuia mm. tukiwa deep in our half mm. naona ngeti alikuwa pale na timu yote ilikuwa najua mpira wao itaka na akiupata mpira huo mm amekuwa ni threat kwa hiyo eh, defense ya 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 ya, West ya, ya Western na kwa wale walizi Western wamepata kazi ngumu sana especially Zuma. Mm. Kwa hivyo sioni kama kuna jambo la kuwa na wasiwasi na Lacazette. Mm. Ngeti ametumia nafasi yake, mm. wacha tuone atakuwa Lacazette alikuwa na nafasi yake, mm. sasa Ngeti amekuja. Mm. He's the new kid on, on the block. Wacha tuone atafanya nini hapa. Okay, kuna magoli ambayo Ngeti ameweza kupata ni zile chanzo za ameweza kukosa kuzifunga. Unafikiria kwamba alikosa nini ilikuwa ni confidence ama alikuwa mipira hiyo alicheza vizuri na pia kipa Fabianski alicheza vizuri kabisa. Mm. Manake ukiona zile saves alifanya, Getty alicheza mpira far ilikuwa far left, mm. eh, far, far right. Mm. Lakini Fabianski alikuwa katika nafasi nzuri ya kuweza kuona mpira hiyo. Mm. Mshambulizi yeyote atacheza mpira kama hiyo, lakini pia kazi ya kipa ni kujaribu kuzuia na kupiga saves. Mm. So naona ilikuwa siku nzuri kwa Fabianski mm. akacheza mchezo wake, mm. akahakikisha kwamba mabao yale yaingi. Mm. Lakini Getty alicheza vizuri mm. kwa nafasi hiyo. Mm. Kwa leo wajamweka Pepe kwa second half hatuwezi fahamu shida iwapi kati ya Pepe na Mkufunzi. Mm. Na pengine hata si shida manake siku zote Mkufunzi ndiye huamua nani atacheza. Mm. Na pengine katika hali ya kufanya mazoezi hapa na pale eh, Mkufunzi Mikel Arteta anaridhika na mchezo wake saka. Mm. Kwa hivyo Pepe itabidi afanye bidii. Hatusemi ni mchezo mbaya ni mchezaji mbaya. Mm. Lakini bado tuna mechi tatu hapa mbele, bado tunamhitaji na bado tunamhitaji nao that uh, Champions League football is in sight mm. nafikiri bado atapata kazi. Ni vile unajua msimu wote huu mm. tumekuwa tukicheza ligi peke yake mm. baada ya kutoka katika FA na Kali Cup tukao tunacheza ligi peke yake. Mm. So nafikiri ya msimu ujao mm. Pepe atakuwa ni mchezaji ambaye tunamhitaji sana mm. kama hatatoka mm. na atacheza. 
Eh, anapata nafasi. Okay. Swala so, mwisho ni kwamba mechi inayokuja itakuwa Arsenal itakuwa na Leeds. Una una bashiri kidhibu. Eh, kuna jambo lingine mm. ni kwenda kutafuta ushindi mm. eh, namba moja mm. kutafuta ushindi namba mbili na ushindi namba tatu mm. Hakuna jambo lingine. Kwa hivyo Leeds lazima tu sisi hataki kujua kama wanashuka ama wana waenda wapi. Mm. Kushuka na kucheza Champions League, Champions League muhimu. Mm. Waja tu washuke. So lazima tu Okay, asante sana. Nyayo tu kwa leo. Shukrani. Karibu tena. Jina lako nani? Francis Juma. Washabiki wa Arsenal. Tena sana. Okay, leo tuambie game imekuwaje leo. Okay, game ya leo. Mm. West Ham wamekuwa na mchezo mzuri sana kuliko Arsenal. Yeah. Mchezo wao umekuwa wa nguvu. Mm. Na in fact wame attack sana. Mm. Even though Arsenal zile chances tumepata mm. hasa za kwanza na za pili yeah. ndipo si umetupatia ushindi. Okay, tukiangalia Arsenal ku, ku mara tatu kuna sehemu ya defense na sehemu ya midfield na attacking. Mm-hmm. Tukianza kusungumza ile ya midf- nini defense ya Arsenal mm-hmm. waje leo. Defense ya Arsenal hasa pande ya huyu left back Tavares eh, mm. imekuwa sloppy kidogo yeah. because eh, Tavares is a good player yeah. going forward. Mm. But defensive wise ako sloppy kidogo touches zake defending yake haiko sawa yeah. na West Ham ni kama walijua hiyo shida walijua hiyo weakness mm. na ndio ukiangalia hata bao yao imetoka kwa hiyo cross imebadilisha mm. kile kwa huku mm. from the other side wakijua kwamba huyu yeah. defensive wise haiko so good mm. still kwa just a touch na 45 pass na ile player na okay kwa hiyo defense yao tumeona kuna robo holding na nini haja kwa Ben White haja kuwa mm-hmm. Ben White ana injury Uh, kwa saizi uh, kulingana na uh, state uh, press ya uh, ile coach alitoa yeah. ni kwamba haja give the information more for the combat mm. who player shida ni gani mm. but uh, we took it the way alipanga team mm. ingawa pia holding si sema ni mzuri compare na white mm. holding a komo be- nani white a komo better than holding mm. sababu pia partnership yao na Gabriel imekuwa more better imetusaidia mm. sana mtimu huu mm. kulika kulipo rock holding okay yeah. tukiangalia sehemu ya katikati midfield okay. in fact uh, midfield ya Arsenal is key hiyo mm. ndio team mm. tukiangalia kwa size ukiangalia tangu party alipopata injury yeah. tulikuwa na Lokonga pale mm ndio ya Lokonga bado experience za coach chini ni kijana mm. mdogo ndio ni mzuri yeah. lakini compared to El Nini mm. eh Lokonga chini that's why coach pia aliona ni problem mm. kwa sababu hizo game tatu zimepita yeah. eh so shaky kidogo but since mm. El Nini kuja mm. midfield yetu imetulia shaka amepata room ya kupasa zake runs zake moves zake mm. imetupatia ushindi Okay, okay. tukiangalia sasa sehemu ya mwisho sehemu ya mashambulizi ya pale ilikuwaaje sehemu ya kushambulizi hiyo? Mhm. Okay, naweza sema sehemu ya kushambulizi wetu si mbaya huyu kijana amejikaka amejikakamua sana, amejikaza kwa sana. Uh-huh. Uh, na ukiangalia zile mechi yameanza uh-huh. uh, at least tumepata ushindi zote. Uh-huh. Tatu hizi tumepata tumeanza. Uh-huh. Ana show potential. Ngaleta saa hizi the whole of second half pienda amepata chances mingi. Uh-huh na zake zote zimekuwa hasa on target mm. ingawa tunaweza sema moja mbili zimeenda off target but zote zimekuwa shambulizi ambazo zingetupatia mabao kwa wingi mm. okay mm. ungepewa wazo wa kufunzo wa kufunzi wa Arsenal mm. kama wewe coach mm-hmm. ungefanya mabadiliko gani kwa team ya Arsenal ungerekebisha mahali wapi okay mwanzo okay <coughs> kwa defense mm. since uh, our main left back ako na injury mimi mm. ningekuwa coach pale ningetafuta another uh, left back acheze defensive wise kidogo mm. or ibadilishe system cheze 352 mm. to make sure that we have three center backs mm. na tuko na wing backs ndipati hiyo kijana Tavares hiyo time ya kuweza kumanuva kwenda mbele because hapo na speed is a good player but defensive wise haiko sawa kwa midfield we have good midfielders but pale kwa Odegaard mm. but ingekuwa ni mimi hapo namba 10 uh, mm. tuko na good player in Pepe mm. even though is a good winger but akiweza kuonyeshwa kwamba there is a position you can train and be a good player mm. pale number 10 mm. uh, pepe can give us can contribute a lot to the team la papa kwa striking force now lazima to reinforce we need a good finisher mm. arsenal lacks a good finisher mm. na tukiweza pata a finisher likes of uh, lewandowski mm. is a good player ukiangalia benzema size ndiye amebari real madrid yeah. yeah he's a good finisher so arsenal needs a finisher like those players mm. kwa kuweza kusaidia hii team because this is not the arsenal we are used to yeah yeah team imechange transition ndio imekuwa hapo mm. but team imechange mm. yeah 
Okay. Leo man of the match wako hii game amekuwa nani? Man of the match wangu kwa hii game nitapatia mm. nini? Angalia mm. bring balance to the team. Mm. Uh, ame give good protection to the defense na pia contribution yake kwa sasa. So my man of the match is in. Okay. Yes. Asante sana. Kwa siku ya leo ni yetu. Okay.